Hey guys, Trun here, and welcome to my CSGO Inventory Showcase. Now, I mean, when I mean showcase, I'm not actually going to be showing you guys in-game, um, because my CSGO Inventory is not even good. I just, a lot of people are wondering what my skins are or what I have equipped, and I'm only going to be showing you guys what I have equipped, because I have 97 items, mostly purples and blues, I think, yeah. Yeah, mostly purples and blues, um, but I'm getting there with the reds and the and the pinks, but yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys all my equipped stuff, and I'm sorry about not posting very much, It it's because I, I just haven't been home, I, um, I went to Toronto or Canada for a hockey tournament, and now I'm back, so I'm going to be posting a lot more. And I'm a little sick if you can hear from my voice, but let's get right into it on the CT side for pistols. So I have a USPS Road Rash, and it is factory new. I really, really like this skin. It's so sick. <laughs> it's just, it's really nice. I was, I did a trade up, and I got that. Um, I was trying to get the all pink DD pass, um, but yeah. And then right here, I have dual Berettas, dueling dragons, uh, minimal wear. These, honestly, these are probably my favorite dual Berettas. These are freaking sick, and they're only blues. I do have Urban Shock Factory News, but I really, really like the dueling dragons. And for a Deedle, I have the Corinthian. I used to have... A conspiracy and everything like that but honestly this is so sick and it's in factory new or it's in minimal wear condition holy crap it looks factory new like look at that but I just really really like the look of it and then uh, we go to a 5.7 and I have a stat track 5.7 retribution in field tested which it does look pretty factory new besides right there a little wear right here and on the handle but that's about it. And if we go over here to my P250 wind shot field tested. Uh, this is honestly my favorite P250 skin. And this does look factory new. Besides right here. That's like the only thing I can notice. And uh, maybe a little right here. But honestly it's field tested and it looks so nice. But if we go to the terrorist side. We have again all the skins I had on CT besides I have a Glock 18 water elemental it was minimal wear I did have two minimal wear ones and I gave one away to um, the person who made my banner uh, and then we have a tech 9 avalanche in well-worn condition which it looks pretty nice for well-worn to be 100% honest uh, I forgot to inspect this right here so yeah this is minimal wear I've never had a minimal wear Glock 18 water elemental I would always have a field tested one and I know a lot of people have Glock 18 water elementals but I just love the way it looks and it's so sick for a pink. So now if we move on over to the heavies on T side we have, that was a voice track, but we have a Nova Antique minimal wear. Uh, I'm only going to inspect the higher tier things like reds and pinks because it's going to take forever but yeah this, this looks like crap. I don't usually use the Nova, but I really like the skin. And for another shotgun, I have the XM1014 Scrumbria. <laughs> no, it's Scumbria. Um, minimal wear condition stat track, which is pretty nice, but I don't even use it. As you can tell, I have zero kills on it. And then we have the Sawed Off Serenity, minimal wear condition. And then we have the M249 stat track Nebula Crusader. Which, it's in well-worn condition, but I really, really like the look of this skin. I wish I had one in factory new. Uh, except not many people use that. I had so many Negev skins, but I um, I actually just traded them all up and kept the stat track ones. This is a Desert Strike stat track Negev. And going on to CT side for shotguns, I have a Mag 7 Heat field tested. Let's go to SMGs for counter-terrorists. We have the StatTrack MP9 Ruby Poison Dart, field tested condition. <laughs> it, this looks very, very sick. I love the way that skin looks. 
And this one I recently unboxed is Factory Noon MP7 Nemesis, and I love this skin. It's so, so sick. Like, look at that. I've never unboxed one of those before. So now with the UMPs, I have a bunch of UMPs, or I used to have a crap more of this, but I, I did a lot of trade-ups, like I said. But I have the StatTrack UMP Labyrinth Factory New. I just really like the look of the skin, and it looks super, super cool. It's kind of like the White Owl, if you guys have known that skin. But now if we go over to my P90, I have a StatTrack P90 Trigon Field Tested. And I have a regular Field Tested version, but obviously StatTrack is a lot cooler. So, I have that. And it looks pretty bad, to be 100% honest. A factory new one would look amazing. But, honestly, it's fine, because it's a uh, sick skin. And for my PB Bison, this is the only PB Bison skin I have, and I actually bought it on the market. And it is PB Bison Chemical Green, because this is so, so sick. This is probably one of my favorite skins. It, I just wish I got it in factory new condition. I don't know. I got it in minimal wear. It doesn't really look minimal wear, but I just wish I got it in factory new condition. So now if we go to the SMGs on T side... We have the Mac 10 Heat field tested, and that's the only thing I, that changes, I believe. Yeah. So let's go over to the rifles here. And for T side, we have the Galil Chatterbox, which is in battle scarred condition, but it's the only Galil red I have. I have a pink Eco and um, the couple Stone Colds. But yeah, the, I do like the Chatterbox, but obviously it's like a $1 skin. <laughs> And then everyone has a red line, basically, like, everyone. If, you get, if you're getting a pink red, or if you're getting a pink AK, you're going to choose the red line. That's what most people choose. It's, like, $6, and it looks very, very nice. But I'm really hoping for a better AK-47 skin sometime. Uh, and then this one, I unboxed the G3SG1. <laughs> um, and it is in field-tested condition, and it's the executioner from the new revolver case or kind of new now <laughs> not really new anymore um for my ssg i have an ssg acid fade uh factory new condition and for my op i have an op pit viper minimal wear uh and then sg i used to have an sg pulse but i did trade ups on those and they're all gone so now i have an odd chameleon uh on ct side on ct side we're going to start off with the odd chameleon in minimal wear condition I really like this skin, to be honest, but I would not choose it over any other skin, you know? Like, it, I really like this skin, but I, if I had another choice, I would definitely choose a different skin for the AUG. Moving on, we still have the Acid Fade, Pit Viper, and this time we have a Scar 20 Outbreak Minimal Wear Condition. And for the FAMAZ, we have a FAMAZ Djinn <laughs> Minimal Wear. And for the M4A1S, I do not have an M4A1S skin. Uh, I usually switch off between the M4A4 and the M4A1S. But the, for the M4A4, I have an M4A4 Desert Strike Factory New. I tried to do an AK Vault in trade-up, and I got a Desert Strike. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so now moving on to the knives. We have my StatTrack Karambit. Uh, it, it's Fade. On it, like, I think this is probably like 93% Fade. It looks so sick. I don't, I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think, what the pricing is. I'm thinking about trading this, so if anyone wants to trade me, like, a Doppler or something, it really depends. Because uh, I'm kind of getting sick of the Karambit fade, so, you know, anyone wants to trade a couple knives for this, uh, go ahead. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I have the Falchion Knife uh, Vanilla, and... I actually love, love this knife because I bought it for like about $60 on the Steam Market and now I believe it's about 70 something dollars or it was at least, it it does raise in price for some reason, um, it's been raising in price so I bought it f for $60 and now it's $64, uh, earlier today it was about 70 something dollars which is insane and for the display I have the 2015 service medal and making my way up to the 2016 service medal. Not anywhere close, though. <laughs> and music kits, I have nothing. So, guys, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my CSGO loadout. I'm just going to go through the pages if you guys want to see any more of my skins. 
Uh, but those are all the ones I have equipped and the ones that I love using. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be posting every other day now, now that I'm back. And I'll see you guys in a couple days for the next one. I still need a closer now.